Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghosts channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got the WWF Royal Rumble 2001 DVD review for you guys. Before we get into it and down to business, take some time, subscribe to the channel. This is a really good event here. Awesome cover on the front. I always love these uh, animated covers. They only did a few of them, but this is this one's really well done. Um, you know, you got your uh, Bourbon Street background, and then all your men there. Um, the VHS is kind of similar to this, but the superstars actually wrap around the box. But, I mean, quite a bit of detail went into this. So we got 30 men, every man for himself, one victor. Um, I really love that logo, that spine as well. You know, the 99 through 2000, 2002 DVDs, uh, really colorful spines. This would be the 11th WWF DVD release. And in 2001, they did get rid of the blue home video logo and just used the basic scratch logo, which still love it. So we do have a beautiful insert shot of the disc, you know, similar to the cover. We got a three and a half hour runtime. And of course, a 2001 release. Let's get a shot of some of that stuff on the back. It's really, really cool. Uh, this one had a couple of my favorite matches. So, insert. So again, we're still new to DVDs. Play, matches, go to a specific match. Um, it's really fun actually looking back at you know some of the inserts, how they were done. Uh, Judgment Day, we'll get to that in a couple other videos, but. So first up, uh, during this time, it seemed like they always started the Rumble uh, with a tag team match or a tag title match. Um, look at the year before with the first ever tag team table match. And here we go here with the Edge and Christian versus the Dudley Boys. Awesome match. And then we had a Fantastic match, the Intercontinental title match, ladder match. Benoit and Jericho, it remains one of my favorites to this day. Um, the, the walls of Jericho on top of the ladder, um, such a uh, crazy spot. And I'm, I'm wondering why that still hasn't really been done that much uh, after that. We had a women's title match, Ivory and China. Championship match between Kurt Angle and Triple H. Pretty underrated match. Kurt Angle was uh, still pretty new at this point in his career. And the 30-man Royal Rumble match to determine the number one contendership for the WWF title at WrestleMania 17, which Stone Cold Steve Austin would end up winning his third Royal Rumble. Kane would end up winning 11 men during this Rumble event, setting a record for over 14 years. Extras and stuff, we d we have a lot of, we got a match here, Lowdown versus Kai and Tai, some stuff with Kurt Angle, Drew Carey, um, I I hated that at first, but I, I like it now, um, I don't think he should have got a Hall of Fame spot out of it though, got some stuff with McMahon, RTC, and Edge and Christian, Rumble wrap up, I always like this stuff with, uh, I believe it might have been Coach doing the interviews and then history some match promos really cool this is probably my favorite rumble of all time um you know there's been so many good royal rumbles that i i just it's probably my second favorite pay-per-view overall you know going back watching all the royal rumbles is definitely going to be fun take some time and subscribe let me know your thoughts on this one guys we'll talk to you later peace